Now there's still plenty of bikes out there that have a press fit bottom bracket. And even if it's not a press fit bottom bracket, they've got screwing cups. Those screwing cups have bearings which are pressed into them. So they can still be extracted and replaced. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a bearing puller. And we're gonna demonstrate on this bike here, which has press fit bearings and cups. And we're also gonna use, uh, not that bike, we're gonna press fit this one here. This one here has a BB30 bottom bracket. So we're gonna use the same tool to pull out that bearing. By far, most of the do-it-yourself bearing pullers out there on the interweb are for the automotive and motorbike industry. So they're quite heavy duty, we don't need that. We want a bicycle bottom bracket bearing puller, so lighter duty, something to protect our frames, particularly carbon fiber. So, of the ones I've seen on the interweb, most of them are quite complicated to make, or they require some welding, some steel fabrication. Don't want that, we want something that most people are gonna be able to make. Well, I've definitely come up with something for you. It's not only easy to make, it's cheap to make, requires no welding, no steel fabrication. So let's get on with making a bearing puller for you. So there's two ways of getting the bearing out of a bottom bracket. That is to push it out or to pull it out. Now to push it out is the most popular way and it usually involves a tool behind the bearing and then you use a mallet or a hammer and bash, 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 tap, tap, tap and the bearing pops out. Problem with that is, first of all, you can dislodge the cup. If you've got a cup in the frame and the bearing sits in it, you might move the cup a little bit. You don't want that. Or you might push the cup out altogether. So really you need to hold the cup steady while you push the bearing out. The other problem with hitting a bearing out is impaction force. With carbon fiber frames especially, they're getting thinner and lighter these days, is you could start a stress fracture in the carbon and that will lead to a crack, so you don't want that. So if anything, you need to tap it out, but even then, it would be nicer to have a softer way of doing it. And a softer way is to pull a bearing out. So if you can get a way of pulling a bearing out nice and evenly, nice and slowly, you don't use any impaction. Here's a tool that pulls the bearing out. This piece here, then you screw this in here, and then you have a slider. So the whole thing fits like that, big long rod, and then you tap, tap, tap with this quite weighty piece here, and it pulls the bearing out. Problem is, it's also in paction. Not as bad as pushing out, at least it's even, and it will pull the bearing out. If the stress is mostly on the bearing, so it does a good job. But it's still not absolutely ideal. Now there is a way of pulling out the bearing evenly and slowly without impaction. Those tools are usually quite expensive. So how about we make our own? So here's our bearing we want to pull out. Now all you need to do is put something inside behind the bearing and pull it on. Now you can either hold the frame and pull, which will probably pull the whole cup out at the same time, or hold the cup and pull, which is what we're going to try and do. So put something on there, put something behind the bearing and slowly pull it out evenly. So here's exactly the same cup that's in the frame there and we want to pull out that bearing. Now if we turn it behind, all we need to do is push on the bearing, not the cup, and it'll come out. So if we put a washer behind there, that one's too big because it's going to press on the cup shell itself. See, there's only a small amount of gap between the bearing and that lip there. So you need a smaller washer. Here's a smaller one and it fits in there. That's good. That'll work. That'll push that out of the cup or pull it out of the cup, whichever way you look at it. Problem is, how are we going to get this washer in there? It's all very well saying get it in the other side, but same thing on the other side. It's got exactly the same. You can't get your washer through. So file opposite sides of your washer so that it looks like this. So that means we can put our washer through there to show you with this one through there into your bottom bracket and you turn it around so that it sits in there and then you just put a bolt in from the other side like that and then with the, because it's got a thread there you can wind it out or pull it out so let's put our washer and the bolt in a bit like this somehow figure out a way of getting it in there we go Make sure the washer sits nicely. There we go, ready to pull out. Now, what you can do is a plain piece of poly pipe, just a piece of pipe, and 
that sits nicely on the outside exactly the same diameter as the outside edge of this cup. Now we just need to be able to push on that edge of that and pull on there on the bolt thread. So a large washer which fits on there and then another washer maybe because the hole's too big in that on the inside. So now nut. Now we've got two things that are moving now. We've got the poly moving on the cup itself there and we've also got the washer which moves on the cup. So if we try and hold it relatively central, it still should work. So what do you reckon it's going to work? Again, the bolt moves, so we're going to have to do the old trick of putting on two nuts and lock them up. There you go, pulled it out. And it is there. Piece of poly and your bearing. So this bolt with this piece of poly certainly pulled out this bearing. Two problems though. Firstly is the bolt head is a little bit too bulky to fit through the bearing easily with the washer on. A little bit of work it got through. I can't do it right now. So if we can replace this head, make it a little bit lower profile, like this one. This is called a cup head bolt. It's a lot lower profile and smoother. So we'll just do that and show you. Now washer, cup head bolt. Okay, and as you can see, it just fits straight through the bearing. Much, much easier. And slips out as well. So a cup head bolt is what you'll need. Now the other thing is this arrangement here with the washers and nut, it was like a cup bit like a cup, here's a cup, because it's hollow one end and it's blind on the other end with a hole in. So if we could use a cup like this, drill a hole through here and then put our bolt through, we'll be right. Trouble is a normal cup like this kitty's plastic cup is too soft, it will break, won't stand the pressure of pulling out a bearing. However, if you go to your hardware store and have a look around, you can find something like a cup and I found this. It's a poly end cap and it's just right. It's made of soft plastic, but it's bulky enough. It's thick all the way around, even though it has a thread in there, which we won't use. Now this poly cap fits perfectly on that cup, nice and central, it's not gonna move, doesn't wobble around. Here's exactly the same cup as it comes out of the frame there. And with the poly cap, it fits nicely in there. That's what you want. So it doesn't fall through. But it sits on there and then when you pull the bearing out of the cup it's going to go into the poly piece like that and even a bb30 bearing the larger one fits in there and slips as well so it'll pull both of these bearings out so let's drill a hole right in the middle and we can put our bolt through starting off with a small drill bit to get as central as possible on the cap then a slightly larger drill bit then larger and larger until the bolt just fits through nicely. Right, so we've drilled a hole in the cap and now we'll put the bolt through in this end. Then an ordinary washer on top of there just to spread the force a bit onto the plastic cap. Put the nut on. Then the other two nuts which we lock up together. Right, so we've got this now. Right, so here's our tool and we'll try and pull out this bearing. So put the tool in, that was much easier. Cap on like that and pull out, simple, wind nut in. Now before we go all the way in, it's a dry piece of metal on metal, so we'll just put a little bit of grease on there on the thread. Just helps the bolt and the nut slide. Right, hold these two and wind in this one. You can hear it pulling the bearing. And 
voila, there you go. Bearings out, there it is, right there. So that works really well. Now, there's one more improvement we could do with this. Maybe we could have a handle on this. Instead of having two spanners, we could have a handle. It'd be nice to have two handles. But if we just have one on this end, it should be easy to do. And then we can just wind with one spanner instead of having two spanners. Right, here's our makeshift handle. Whoops, I didn't get the hole quite in the middle, but it'll do. Still do the same thing. Right, let's undo these nuts. Wind that one back a bit. Put on our piece of wood. It needs to go back a bit more. Here we go. Put on the top nut. Quite tight. Right, let's try that. Put that in. The cup up there. On the nut. Hold it with one spanner and undo the handle or do the spanner, whichever way. I guess the handle might be better to just hold and do that. Since there's a little bit more force. Voila, that worked beautifully with one spanner. Now to pull out the cup. And all we need is a collar, like a spacer washer, a large one, which fits over the cup, but touches on the frame nice and snugly, so it doesn't damage it. Then it needs to stick out far enough so that this part of the poly cap will fit onto that nicely and rest on it. And the other thing we need is a larger special shape washer. That little washer we made, we need a slightly larger one, because this one just slips in and out. So we'll make another large one of them as well. The inside diameter of the collar should be 50 millimeters, but the outside diameter doesn't matter so much. So the collar fits just loosely over the cup, but its circumference is squarely on the frame. And this is the sizing for the larger washer. So the collar fits like this on the poly cap. And to replace the smaller washer with the larger one, we'll need to take the tool apart. Place the small one with the larger one, and put the tool back together again. Right, now the tool and our collar goes on like that first. Then we hold the special shape washer, push that through. Like that. And the same thing, that collar goes over the cup and rests on the frame. Push that up. Exactly the same, then wind that nut up there. And wind away. And there you have it. That's the cup. There you go, there's your cup. Now I replaced this bottom bracket quite some time ago and I remember loctiting these cups in because I didn't want any creaks and groans on my mountain bike. So if this tool can pull out loctited cups, then that's pretty good. As for a handle, you can leave the tool as it is and keep using the two spanners. Or the piece of wood as a handle. How about an old 10 millimeter spanner for a handle? Or even a kitchen tap knob? As for me, I went for the left hand crank arm I had lying around, the thread where the pedal goes was stuffed anyway. And then I got a cheap mountain bike grip and soap and water and put that on. Lovely nice soft grip there, looks good too. And then when I locked up these two nuts there to hold the crank arm on, I just put a little plastic cap on there and that makes it look nice, nice finish there. Now, you don't actually have to take the handle off of this at all to change washers, and I'll just explain why. 
Here you've got the washers here. I've got three on this one. You can just have two if you want or whatever you want to pull out. Just move that back to show you. Now, the smallest washer goes on the outside and then the medium and then the largest ones go on the inside toward the poly cap there. Now, if you want to pull out the smallest bearing, which is 24 millimeter here, uh, the Shimano size one, then you put the two larger washers on the inside of the poly cup there, thread that through the bearing, and then you can pull that out. The next size up is BB30, so you need your medium size one, just like that. Put the big one in there and those two, the small and the medium one outside, thread it through and like that, and then you pull it out. And of course, the largest one there, put that out, thread them all through and whoop, go the way around and then put, you put them through your cup and then pull that out. Of course, you'll need the collar as well. Don't forget the collar. If you're pulling out a cup from a frame, that protects your frame. All done and it works. I'll just show you. Right, first thing is the collar. Put the collar on, all the washers down there. And then thread all three washers through the cup. There we go. Wind in the nut. And then, of course, we're going to need a spanner to hold that as we unwind. There you go. There's our collar. There's our cup. All done. Absolutely works perfect. Trying it on BB30 bottom bracket. Large one in. There you go, bearings in there. And here's all your bits to make your bearing puller tool. The bolt and three nuts, either metric 10 or 3 8 of an inch, it's much of a muchness. The length of the bolt, anywhere between 120 and 150 mil. If using a partially threaded bolt, get one with a no thread maximum of 40 millimeters. Or even better, a bolt with the thread all the way to the head. For example, on this bolt, the thread stops here, so the nut stops there too, and it won't pull the bearing all the way out. The depth of the cup should be a minimum of 20mm. The one I used in the video was 35mm. The inside diameter of the cup, 45mm. That allows the bearings to slip in and out easily. And how much is a tool going to cost you? $3.80 for a cup head bolt, 3 nuts, $1.50, 3 washers, $2.00, piece of poly, someone will give it to you, the cap, $4, and a piece of wood, pfft. total cost of the tool should be less than $12. So there you go, now you can make yourself a bearing pulley for your bottom bracket. Now these poly parts, if you find them difficult to get, keep hunting around, I'm sure you'll find something, hardware stores, irrigation shops and the like. So the principles there, all it is is a heavy duty cup shape with a hole drilled in it and so you can put your bolt through with a few nuts. So, out for your washer, don't forget, file both sides if you make a mistake, hey, 20 cent washer, get another one and keep going and you get it so that it fits through the bearing nicely. So it certainly beats bashing away at your bottom bracket trying to get a bearing or cup out and potentially damaging your carbon fibre frame. And don't forget to hang it up on your tool board with all your other lovely tools. Oh, Stuart's got his new bike. Every new bike deserves the fluffy dice. He's got to wear it somewhere, so... <laughs> <laughs> this is a piccolo. A piccolo. A piccolo. Yeah. It's breakfast of the champions. <laughs> really? <laughs> old champions. Old champions. There you go. Very old champions. <laughs> Another new bike. This is Canyon. So with every new bike comes the fluffy dice. 
to see you can ride the fluffy dice. <laughs> <laughs> Even the right colours. <laughs> it's too black and white. Endurance. This is the endurance one. So the wheelbase is a bit longer. The tram. 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 Tram.